Well, hey guys, uh, South Dakota State, about an hour away, about a little over an hour away from tip-off here uh, in Omaha as they take on Iowa State. Yeah, we've been talking a whole lot about the fact that T.J. Otzelberger used to be the head coach at South Dakota State, and Eric Henderson was his assistant coach. And uh, Matt Mims, who we'll talk about at 6 o'clock, he was the uh, first guy recruited, or the last guy recruited as part of that team, and he's uh, the last holdover with the uh, Jackrabbits from that squad. And, of course, this is going to be kind of a unique situation for him. But as for the game, once that ball goes up in the air, all those friendships does, don't really matter. So what do the Jackrabbits have to do to beat the number two seed tonight? Well, they got to play great defense. Well, I think we're a lot more connected at this time of the year than we ever have been, you know, throughout the season. And we're just helping each other out. We're, we're having each other's back, the trust factor. Um, we're, we're putting pressure on people, but, but we're also making them earn everything. Um, and so I think that's probably what's been the biggest factor is just that trust and, and ability to believe in each other, understanding you don't have to do it on your, on your own. And, and if you do make mistake, which everybody does, your brother will have your back. They've uh, had each other's backs all year. They've won eight straight games, and that defense has been a big reason why. Keep in mind, though, that Iowa State is also known for its defense, one of the best defenses te defensive teams in the country. They are really good. This place is going to be loud. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be as loud as it's ever been tonight because you got Iowa State against South Dakota State in the first game, and then you got Drake against Washington State in the second game. So three of the four teams here, their fans didn't have to go very far to come to the game. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, just so you know, Brian, I'm wearing a tie here that has uh, been pretty lucky for South Dakota State teams in national tournaments. They've won several games with this tie. So we'll see if it makes a difference tonight. I, I hope you and Phil are really grumpy after this game tonight. How dare you, Mark Ovenden. Thank you for that live report from Omaha. We'll talk to you later.